Well, nutrition has become very much complicated and even complex. And this is due to the fact that the patients we are dealing with today are not the same that we are dealing 20 or 10 years ago. The complexity of the patients has increased tremendously. And there is nothing in the textbooks written related to this complexity. So we have, this is a true challenge for us. And we have to adapt the previous knowledge to the new condition of the patients. So this is challenging. Definitely, because of this complexity, we need more uh, supporting systems for uh, the decisions of the doctors. So doctor, doctors have a lot of data in front of them. The patient is now a moving target. From the beginning, after two days of stabilization, and then the new complications, it's sure that one guideline, one protocol, will not fit all the conditions. So we need to adapt. And to adapt, we need to have the data. And if we create these decision support systems that will help the doctors to make the right decisions, this will be very helpful. Indirect calorimetry is not nice to have. It's like you would say, measuring glucose is nice to have before giving insulin. How should you dare to give insulin without knowing the level of glucose? How should you prescribe the amount of calories without knowing what the patient requires? So definitively, this is one of the only tools in nutrition that are available to measure energy expenditure. What to do with this measurement is another issue, but at least we should measure and this should be available.